What can I say about this uh, next gal? She probably is, uh, I think, one of the funniest women alive and a, and a grand person to know, both as a performer and as a friend. Would you welcome Lucille Ball? <laughs> you look groovy, as they say. Thank you. Really do. Thank you. Anniversary. You got an anniversary coming up? Wednesday, is it not? I think Gary told me. Yes. Our your, eighth. Your eighth wedding anniversary? Yes. May I see that? Don't touch. <laughs> May I partake of a second helping? <laughs> W.C. Fields on that thing with my little chick. Oh, that's beautiful. That is Speaking gorgeous. of W.C. Fields, I saw Mae West the other night. Did you really? It was the first time I had <laughs> ever been in her company. I want to tell you, I was never so thrilled in my life. She is fantastic. That's what they say. She is fantastic. You can't believe it until you're sitting this close to her. The way she talks, the way she thinks, the way she looks. They, they say something. She wrote a letter one night on the show and sent it to me. Really? Oh, you yeah. got a fan letter from May West? Yeah, a very nice letter. We were talking about it. She sent me a letter and I still got it. I was thrilled. May I touch you? Yes, because I don't say many letters, but she's not doing television because, as you know, I think she, uh, first of all, is doing Myra Breckenridge. She's too smart to do television. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She just sits up there and takes it easy. You're not getting tired of doing television, are you? Didn't you no. get to a point once where you were going to quit and says, uh, No, oh. I never got to a point where I was going to quit. I've been on 18 years. No, not 18 years. Yes, 18 mm -hmm. years. That's incredible. Yeah. Of course, television has changed quite a bit since I started. It has. I see the reruns occasionally, and the skirts and the styles. That's the only... The comedy is still great. When I first started in television, I appeared on our show in, um, uh, shall I say, a slightly pregnant condition. That's right. Which we were asked to refer to as expecting, because some of the viewers had complained. Imagine complaining about that. Nowadays, you not only see people, women pregnant, but how they got that way. <laughs> it's true. You're, that's not, really true. you're right. That is amazing. That's what I that's what I call a big change. That is strange, you know, that the those were word is a beautiful word, like being pregnant, you know, that somebody would take offense at that. The styles, of course, have changed. But the, the comedy hasn't changed. I'm glad I'm glad that it has. Oh, that's funny. How do you feel about the look I suppose people ask you this, Lewis, all the time. How do you feel about having your perform your kids perform with you? Uh, uh does it help them or is it it has helped them very much, and it has helped me. I've been very happy to have them with me. But when people ask me, I guess they expect kind of a showbiz answer, like you mentioned before, the family that plays together gets paid together or something. But uh, I, I tell them the truth. My kids are college age, and I just, uh, with what's going on in colleges these days, I'd rather have them picketing the studio. <laughs> Well, you can watch them. I am delighted that they're not in any college at the moment. When things cool down, fine. And in the meantime, they're finding out what they're going to college for, I hope. That's a great idea. And then they're both very skillful at what they do, too. Well, they're project. getting they're, better. They're Thank good, you. good natural actors. You yeah, missed my testimonial dinner. I was going to say, when you walked out, I was going to say congratulations because you were voted the first lady of television by the International Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. Thank you. Uh, I would, have, I would have been there, but Andy Devine had asked me to a wiener roast, and I was, uh, <laughs> I was, uh, it was a, a great previous night. commitment. It was a great night. Some of them can uh, kind of frighten you, but this was a real uh, warm, wonderful testimonial. Generation. Usually they're zingers. They kind of... Yeah, uh, it, this was a rib roast. Right. Yeah. And, but I had some very close friends there, and they were divine. This is one thing that happened. They, they put me up on a shelf at a table where there, it was up on a, you know... What do you call it? A landing? A, a Dave's shelf? Dinosaur. No, not a dais, but a, a uh, step. An airplane? <laughs> a book? I don't know. I was up higher. An umbrella? Floor, anyway. Ashtray? And they put a, a spotlight on our table, and uh, it went on for four and a half hours. Well, Johnny, I, uh, it was wonderful. Marvelous people. Milton Berle, M.C., Dinah Shore, Michelle Lee, uh, Rowan and Martin, Godfrey Cambridge, uh, did I forget anyone? Carol Burnett. And Carol Burnett. What a lineup. Wonderful, wonderful friends of mine, and they were all great. 
but they never took the spotlight off me, and they segued from one to the other, and they sang their songs at the table, and they told their jokes directly at me, and four and a half hours without going to the ladies' room. <laughs> and I was dying. And I'm, I'm only human now, after all. <laughs> and I, I couldn't find a spot where I could get up and leave, because the spotlight never left. So finally, Milton was segueing into someone else, and I just raised my hand like a school kid, and I said, Milton, ad-lib for a while. And that was, of course, my first big mistake. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, the spotlight followed me all the way to the lady. Have you ever had a spotlight follow you to the ladies' room? <laughs> oh, you never go there. Or do you? <laughs> anyway, uh, Milton told about 50... The ad libbed about 50 jokes concerning my destination. Mm -hmm. And if it hadn't been in my honor, I don't think I ever would have come back. <laughs> but I had to. It was that's a great, great night. Fun. It really was. You know, that's true. Uh, you sound like you're making that up, and I know you're not because years ago they had a, I think it was he telling me, a television academy of arts and sciences were throwing a dinner for Jackie Gleason in New York. Now, that's true. And there were a lot of performers, and Jackie Gleason, as you say, is sitting front row, he's down, and we're on the stage. And now I come out, everybody's just performed, and he is sitting next to uh, Fulton J. Sheen, who happened to be there in his honor. They're very close friends. And I was performing, and right in the middle of my performance, only Gleason would do this. He got up, walked up on the stage, and he had a drink. He said, excuse me, I have to go to the... And walked right <laughs> off the stage while I'm standing there. <laughs> right past me. And yeah, I he looked, could do it, but and I, 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 looked, I looked out at Fulton Sheen, and I said, couldn't you have said something to tidy him over? <laughs> you know? Oh, it's beautiful. As Lucy pointed out, that is this all snip. That was just a rehearsal, you know. We were just in our casual clothes, and it was cuts here and cuts there and so forth. And we you were fun to work with. So were you. It was a great catch, really. Thank you. You're one of the... It's a good show. I like it. I'll it's tell you just, something. It's just like when you come to your show. I'll tell you, I have such great admiration for you, because you, you know what's good for you, and you're such a good editor, and you'll work... It's like Jack Benny does when Jack was the other night. And boy, there are a few people in the business who give it the, the intelligence and, and the time and the devotion that you do to Thank come you. out with a good product. Thank and, you. Uh, I mean that. <laughs>